Welcome back. This is part four of this extended SIGtorial, how we set this big massive thing up. We've set up our our pump, we've made waterproof pipes, we've made the pump pump lava into the engine so that it can continuously run without having to do anything to it. Now now that this is all going, see see this thing's been filling up and this thing is full at this point. So we need to do something with this lava. So what we're gonna do no nope, it's in nope. There we go. We're gonna make ender tanks. Now what an ender tank is gonna do is the ender tank will allow us to pump liquids. Well that's the wrong setup. It's, we're gonna be able to pump liquids from over great distances and in this case we're gonna pump it through the nether into the real world. So this is the setup. This is an ender tank. You've got eight blaze rods, or so you uh, four blaze rods per, but I have this is for two because we need two. So I've got blaze rods in each corner. You've got obsidian on the sides, wool cloth on top, and you can change that to color coordinate it. A cauldron in the middle with an ender pearl, and that's going to give us our ender tanks. So now we have our ender tanks. We could ditch this guy. I lost that lava. That lava is never coming back. So I've color coded this so that it's black, orange, black. That way it kind of represents like it's lava, you know. So we're gonna place our ender tank like so, and now, now you don't without this, these pipes this way, the wooden pipe to pumping into here will pump that because it's a pump itself. It's pumping the lava. So it's pumping that lava here into our ender tank. So now we have power or we have lava coming into here and now it's going in the tank that we have in our inventory. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this to the overworld and set it up in our base so that we can start making some power. And like I said, the reason I use the electric engine is because this thing cools down by itself. And now there's a, there's another step to this whole process here, but I'll explain that and show you that in a later at a later time. So we've returned to our little home sweet home, and now we're going to set up this tank over here and get it to pump into this tank here. And this is just for show, but we're going to place our tank like so. Now we need the wooden pipe to extract from there. And now we're going to put our cobblestone waterproof piping. Again, that's waterproof piping. This is liquid, so we need it to be persistent. And now we have it set up, and it's like, well, huh, what's going on? It's not going. This little thing has a dial, and now it's pumping out the one in the other world, the nether, is the other way. So you just right click that and it'll turn that dial. And now it's going to transport this lava into our tank. And now we can use this and have this extract into uh, geothermals or thermal generators over here and we could start actually generating some real power out here. Pretty nifty, huh? But there's more there's still more to this whole process that we have have not yet covered so this is the end of this portion of the sigtorial next time I'm gonna show how to do a world anchor so that this whole system that we've set up will continue to operate see cuz look at that there's no more lava what's going on did the pump break what's going on in here this this chunks aren't loaded so we have to go load those chunks so we're going to need a world anchor for that. So stay tuned, because coming up next, I'm going to show you how to make a world anchor.